In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the TI Inspire, the rover, and uh, Python to do some graphing. So I've added a new graphing page, and I'm going to import some modules. So the first of the modules is the rover module. Then I'm going to import the maths module. I may not actually need that, but I'm still importing it. Then I'm uh, importing the systems module, TI system. Uh, that's the one I really need. And finally, I'm going to import the plot library module. So these are the four modules I have added. And what I'm going to do next is to create an empty list. And I'm going to call that list XY. And it's empty. So it's uh, going to be populated as I run the while loop. So I'm going to use the while loop over here. So my initial value for m is uh, 0. And I'll be using m actually to define the domain. So the function that I'm going to graph is x squared minus 5x plus 6. So I'm going to set an initial position, the y-intercept in this case. So the rover position is 0 and 6. So it's going to start moving from there. And now I'm adding the while loop. And I'm going to give the condition while 0 is less than equal to the value of m. And uh, I'm saying m can go up to maybe 6. So I'm going to stop at 6. So m lies between 0 and 6. So I'm going to put uh, the value 6. And now I'm going to go into the systems module. And from here, I'm going to uh, use the evaluate function. I'm going to call this function n. And uh, g is the function that I'm going to access, which I'll define shortly, and uh, value m. And uh, now what uh, we need to do is to drive the rover to a certain path. So I'm going to go to rover and go to drive and go to x, y, because we are graphing uh, the x and y values. So m, and that will take the value of n. And I'm going to go up in steps of 0 0.1. I can make the step size smaller. So I'm going to say m each time is increasing by 0 0.1. So that's uh, all that I need in the code. Now I'm going to add a notes page. And in my notes page, I'm actually going to define the function over here. So if I do control M, it should give me a maths box. And my function GX, I'm going to store that. So I'm going to use the assign key. Uh, and uh, we're going to go x squared minus 5x plus 6. And that's uh, it. Now I'll go back to my code and I'm going to run the program. And uh, I've got a pen on the rover and uh, I've got a red uh, marker there. You start seeing the marking now. Um, you can see the marking. And now I'm just going to speed it up. So you can see the rover moving and it's uh, drawing the graph. And now you can see it's actually got the parabola there. And uh, that's really it. That's the graph there. Let's go and change the function. So this time I'm going to do a sine graph. So I'm going from a domain of negative 3.14. So that's my initial value for m. So I'm going to position the rover at negative 3.14. I need to get rid of the 0 there in front. Yep. And uh, the y value, I'll put it as 0. And then I'm saying while m lies between negative 3.14, which is actually negative pi, and I'm just going to go up to pi. So I'm going from negative 3.14 to positive 3.14. And my function is still g. So I'll go to this page and change my function to this time 2 sine 3x. So now that I have uh, changed the function, let's go and run the program. So control R. And uh, this time, I'm actually just uh, going to use blue ink. So you should see a blue sketch. And once I see a little bit of it, I'll speed up the thing. Yeah, so I can see a bit of it. So now I'm just going to speed it up. So you should see a sine graph. It uh, plots and it goes from negative pi to pi. So uh, yeah, it's pretty straightforward uh, graphing with the rover using Python on the TI Inspire. Thank you for watching the video.